This is the story of Nenebush and the Thunders. I'd like to just start off by saying that uh, the Thunders are pretty, uh, pretty powerful and uh, they're really, really strong. And um, um, they, uh, they live in the, in the West and that's how we uh, refer to them any, anyway, the, the blessings from the West. They not only help the earth and uh, um, make sure that the waters are, are clean, but uh, there was, um, with Nanabush, uh, there was a time when um, he was wandering about uh, the forest and um, he realized that the forest people were, uh, were frightened. Finally, he grabs hold of Rabbit and uh, asked Rabbit, what's going on? How come everybody's uh, afraid? Why is everybody so frightened? And uh, they're kind of running around frantically. What's going on? The rabbit says, it's the thunders. They're, uh, they're frightening everybody. They're uh, just um, making a lot of ruckus, making a lot of noise. And finally, Nenebush decided, I'm gonna go and find out why he's angry and causing all this uh, turmoil with the animals, with uh, the forest people and uh, causing all this rain and things are getting flooded. And so he sent out his, uh, the, the warriors to, uh, to go and um, find out what's making him so uh, angry. Why is he so angry? Why is he mad? And uh, the warriors uh, said, no, we don't want to tackle the, with the thunder. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty uh, powerful, they're strong, so I, we don't want to mess with him. So uh, Nenebush decided that he's going to go. He's going to go and uh, confront him and find out what's ailing him, what's going on with him. He asked uh, the wind to help him and carry him to, uh, to the west. And so it was the wind that lifted him and carried him uh, up and out into, uh, towards the west. And uh, that's how he, he got out there to the mountains where the thunder uh, lives. And uh, so he approached and Thunder is wondering, well, who dares approach me? Who has the courage to come and, uh, you know, confront me? But it was it was Nenebush, and uh, he's uh, speaking for for uh, for his people and uh, wondering why things are are happening uh, the way that they are in terms of uh, uh, the flooding that's that's happening. Uh, it's. Uh, Nothing is, is growing, and they didn't realize, the thunders didn't realize that, that's, that they were overpowering, they, they were too powerful, and, uh, and so it caused, uh, it caused the floods, and so they said that they would stop. After he had visited and spent time with the thunders, uh, then he came back to the people, and the sun was out. There was peace and there was a good relationship happening with the natural world. You'll notice after a thunderstorm, after they have been about, how everything is and how everything is brand new and uh, it's new life. Another door has opened, another chapter, another stage in my life has, has opened. The natural world do help us and that there are uh, uh, stories, there are lessons uh, behind everything, you know, they, they, do, they do, do show us. But it's important that we acknowledge, we acknowledge that help. We are grateful for the gifts that are given, the lessons that are given, uh, and, and so there is that sense of uh, giving back. Things happen in life and uh, things happen in, in nature uh, that teach us, that uh, give us lessons. And so it's up to us to uh, take what is, uh, what's been given. Mm -hmm.